Minds is a social media alternative to Twitter and YouTube, and many people have been flooding to Minds because of the free speech. Well, people have also been having an issue with Minds because apparently they now are having issues with anime. Oh boy, here we go again. Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So Minds, for those of you who don't know of this platform, Minds is basically an alternative social media platform. What they do is they allow you to freely be able to speak whatever you want and not have to worry about getting censored for your opinions. And a lot of people have liked Minds because of that. You know, that's why a lot of people were jumping to Minds because you, know, you look at Twitter, you know, uh, Twitter, YouTube have these problems of censoring people when it comes to certain things, you know. And when people were seeing... You know, social media alternatives popping up, one of them being Minds. Well, they were like, oh, well, I can go here and they won't push me off the platform. And, you know, that's a good thing. You know, we need to see more alternatives to where people can have free speech and speak their mind however they want. But it seems that Minds has jumped on the bandwagon of having an agenda against anime because, well, they've been going after people that have been posting anime on their account on Minds. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. So... This is a tweet out here from GameWizard02 stating, Heads up everyone, if you're going to Minds, you might want to think twice, especially if you're into anime. Looks like they are going full on censorship of any criticism of their decisions. Which is a problem, because they are going after anime, no reason for it, and they've been going after a profile, some of them getting completely banned. And... It's absolutely ridiculous, and when people thought that this would be a good platform to be able to talk about anime, well, yeah, then they do this, which, yeah, that's not a good move on Minds' part. And as many of you already probably know, I also created a Minds account so that I could have alternatives out there in case anything would happen here on YouTube. And, you know, I mean, I've enjoyed Minds up to this point. I mean, it's fairly easy to use, and it's not that bad. But, you know, at the point when you're an anime fan, and you worry that they're going to boot you because, oh look, you know, <laughs> you like anime, gotta get you off here because they say it promotes terrible things, because that's what they always say it does, but it doesn't, which, you know, it's ridiculous. But this is the argument they always try to make, and then they don't have any evidence to back up their statements. And so yet again, you know, they gotta do something to go after the anime fans, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, as you can see within the tweet, this person has screenshots of what was being said here and why people were being removed. Right here, Minds banned me. I, quote, posted Bill Oatman on his anti-lolly post. I also thumbs up a few comments critical of Bill's stance. I read them and thumbs down some comments that we're ignorant of everything regarding Bill's weak stance on lollies. Now, I want to make this clear, it's not just about lollies. You'll see what I mean in just a moment, because they even target adult characters. I mean, you know, you'll see what I mean. Spam lol, what did I say in my quote post? Essentially this, you were never an anime fan, Bill. You're just a filthy casual boomer. <laughs> I mean, they got Bill there. <laughs> that was pretty funny. And it continues, though. This person, apparently, Minds Platform, hates the truth. Apparently, I'm striked and marked NSFW because I'm speaking up. Well, F you. I'm on Fediverse. At least it's decentralized. And that's the thing. A lot of people trusted Minds because they were thinking that they could go there, be able to talk about anime, and not worried about getting hit or attacked, you know, like they went on Twitter, for example, because <laughs> Twitter is a cesspool. And that's why people have been moving to alternatives because they don't want to have to deal with that crap that they have to deal with on Twitter, for example, or other platforms that are similar to Twitter. And then when you see stuff like this happening, well, I mean, it makes more people more cautious to these platforms, or they'll go to another alternative that doesn't demonize them. I mean, people want to be able to talk about their hobbies and not have to go through getting banned over talking about them. I mean, it's ridiculous to see minds now jumping on board and doing this too. It's not just lollies anymore, now they are suspending people over the character's canonical age. Does somebody have an archive link of this? I can find it. I mean, seriously, look, this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, they're going after anybody that's really just talking about anime, because look at this. Why are you using quotes around canonically? It's a real word, and its use is appropriate here. Like, it's canonically, as in per the publication's canon. If you post 
hentai of a character who is of legal age, engaging in legal spicy acts, then there's no problem. We have been using the standard of what is canon per any given character to determine their age. Example, Jotaro's underage. I would recommend not posting uh, some spicy things of him. Sasami from Tenchi Muyo is 709 years old. So if you want to get weird with her, have at it. See, that's the point is what I'm saying, though. They're going after anime characters, and it always seems to be this whole, like, oh, what's the canonical age, or what's the age of the character, or they look too young despite being an adult, so we can't let you post this, which is ridiculous. You know, and you gotta remember, they technically don't even have an age because they're lines on paper, so technically they don't even have a real age. But this is my point. It's absolutely ridiculous because when you think about it, Mines was supposed to be a alternative to where you could... Talk about anything freely. Well, they're going the way of Gab when you think about it. <laughs> and you look at Gab's stance on anime, you know, they were going after it as well. So, I mean, you know, Minds, instead of being that alternative where people could freely talk about whatever, it seems that anime <laughs> seems to be the problem, which contradicts what they're talking about, you know, about being able to freely speak about things. And so, now it just seems like they're going the way of Gab. <laughs> and I mean, this is what I'm talking about here. Because it seems that Bill Altman doesn't understand anime. It seems like he's not an anime fan, so doesn't really get it. And, you know, it's pretty ridiculous because anime fans, all we want to do is go around, have fun, talk about anime, have a good time with it. You know, recommend other series to people, manga as well. But then it comes down to people that are like this, that come in there and they're like, oh, blah, 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 it looks bad, it looks like it supports terrible things, when it actually doesn't. But then you have platforms like Netflix that will have disgusting films like Cuties that should not exist on their platform that's actually hurting minors, you know. But they don't say anything about that. They let that exist when it shouldn't. You know what I mean? Like, do you see the problem here? Is that anime doesn't hurt people. Anime is fictional characters. It's fiction. It's not real. It's not hurting anybody. But, you know, they go after anime fans trying to say that anime supports terrible things when it doesn't. And, I mean, it's absolutely absurd. And, like I said, you know, I've liked Minds for the most part. I really have. And it's very easy to use. But when it comes to this, whenever it's something that's not even an issue, whenever they're complaining over anime, having problems with anime, when it's not a problem, but, I mean, they better expect anyone that's an anime fan at this point to probably either try to avoid them or go elsewhere because, you know, anime fans, we're all going to go somewhere where we're going to be accepted. We're not going to go somewhere where we're going to be, you know, made fun of and put down because who wants to do that, right? You know what I mean? But when it comes to minds, they need to learn that anime is not a problem. It doesn't support terrible things like they think it does. And hopefully they'll learn that. Hopefully they'll learn that anime is not a bad thing and that it's a good source of entertainment. But who knows? When it comes to Minds, I'll still have an account on there as long as I possibly can, but as an anime fan, they might eject me from the platform eventually because, well, I'm an anime fan. Let's hope not, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like, and also be sure to share the video on social media, spread the word, and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated, and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord and Minds. We have a wonderful community there, not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord and Minds. The links are in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you, and have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.